Hello out there to all the listeners of the What's Spinning podcast. This is Richard and this is episode 9. Welcome. So today, instead of doing our regular album discussion, I thought I would dive into the list for Record Store Day. It was released, I think, the day after I published the last episode, so didn't get a chance to talk about it then, and I thought I'd take some time to do that today. I apologize for this being a day later than my normal schedule. Didn't get a chance to get this pushed out by Wednesday, but hopefully a mid-Thursday treat will work for you. Let's first jump into what I've been listening to lately. So I have been spinning... Albums from the Cake box set. This box set was released in 2014 for Record Store Day, and it contains eight discs. Six of those being uh, the first six studio albums from Cake, so Motorcade of Generosity through Showroom of Compassion. And then there is a B-Sides and Rarities disc, which I love because it has their cover of the Black Sabbath classic War Pigs, and it also has the classic Muppet song, Mana Mana. Uh, then there's also a live disc, which is live from Buck Owens' Crystal Palace. So it's got some of their hits. It doesn't have all of them, like the distance isn't on there, but it does have Sheep Go to Heaven, Mexico, Stick Shifts and Safety Belts, I Will Survive, Daria, and Never There, just to highlight a few. So it's pretty good selection. It's a little hard to find. Um, I do like that they did these all on colored vinyl with translucent discs so that's kind of fun and the box itself is nice and classic kind of has a vintage feel to it which cake's always kind of been about that with their artwork and things like that so getting into record store day this year it is on april 13th which currently is just a little over 36 days away and they released the list the big list of items that are available. So I thought I'd go through that a little bit and just highlight a few things that I think are interesting. A lot of the things that get put out are either box sets or unique compilations or alternate versions of things that existed before. And then also there's sometimes first pressings or um, things that have been out of print on vinyl for a long time and are being repressed for this occasion. I'm going to try to steer away from like seven inches and singles because the list gets really long if you dive into those. So I'm going to stick mostly to LPs, double LP sets, and box sets. Just a little bit of warning. The list does have 402 entries so far this year. I've tried to narrow that down as much as possible. I think I've done a pretty good job of doing that. So I'm not going to bore you with things that are a little obscure or outside the, uh, the realm of kind of popular items. All right, so let's get going. The first one I'm going to tell you about is actually an album I was listening to recently, and I think I mentioned on the podcast, and that is Aha High and Low, Hunting High and Low, sorry. Uh, this is alternate mixes from that album. So these are alternate mixes of their debut album. Uh, these were first released on the 30th anniversary deluxe box set in 2015. So this will be the first time these all appear on vinyl, but these are demos um, some different versions and alternate takes on some of their songs from that album. And it says there's going to be 2,450 of these released for Record Store Day, 6,000 copies worldwide. So that's it. That's the total count that will be available for this album. After that, there, um, well, this is actually a little bit of a variation from what I said. I said I was going to avoid 7 inches, but I also said I was going to talk about box sets. And this is... A uh, seven inch box set, so it's five seven inch singles included together. And these are Aretha Franklin's Atlantic singles uh, from 1967. So it's a pretty good set of some classic Aretha stuff. Uh, this box is going to be limited to 4,500 copies worldwide. Included in this is Respect and Natural Woman, Chain of Fools. So some good stuff, some good classic Aretha on there. After that, we've got a uh, 2LP release by Billy Joel, and this is uh, Live at Carnegie Hall from 1977. Just kind of a, a captured moment in time of Billy Joel's music from that 1977 tour. Let's see, what else have we got here? All right, now this one, 
This one is kind of a reach out there from my normal realm of things that I listen to, but I do remember this album. And this is uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, E1999 Eternal. So this is their best-selling album. It's sold more than 6 million copies. But this will be the first official release on vinyl. And these are numbered releases. So, you know, you might get copy 1,250. There's 2,000 being produced, and... uh, if you are a fan of Bone Thugs and Harmony or you just like some of their big hits, this album has those. So uh, definitely check that one out. After that, we've got uh, Canned Heat, Remember Woodstock. So this is celebrating uh, Canned Heat's performance, their live tracks uh, from the Woodstock era. Uh, speaking of, there are a lot of live releases from both original Woodstock and Woodstock 94 in this this Record Store Day list. So I think that's kind of interesting. Um, Rather than just like the Woodstock albums that were released for each of those shows that had a mix of tracks from a bunch of bands, these focus on one band's actual performance at Woodstock, which I know there was a Jimi Hendrix release. There's probably been a few others that were like that. And I really enjoy that, getting to hear that whole set. Next up is a David Bowie release, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, man, there's been a ton of David Bowie-released stuff since his passing. However, this is from the DECA World Of series that was run, uh, I guess it started in 1968 and ran through the 70s and was a pretty popular way of checking out a few things that an artist had to offer in an effort to get you to dive in deeper to their catalog. And most of these included the catalog numbers of their other albums on the back. So this one, uh, this was originally released in March 1970, and David Bowie himself offered the track listing. Now, the songs on here are a little different than, you know, like Space Oddity, things like that. Uh, And it was the first official release of songs like Let Me Sleep Beside You, Karma Man, and In the Heat of the Morning. So, um... I think it was written in a book on Bowie's early years that Bowie actually bought a copy of this album himself. But this exact one is labeled as an RSD first release, so one that's been out of print for quite a while. And it looks like they will be putting out 3,500 copies. Okay, so if you're looking for something similar to the cake box set that I mentioned earlier, not similar in music style, but similar in what it provided and how hard it was to find after the Record Store Day release. This is a box set that might be of interest to you. This is Devo's box set, simply titled This is the Devo Box, and it contains their six Warner Record releases that were released between 1978 and 1984. Of course, each one is going to be pressed on a different color of vinyl, to complement the sleeve, and it's going to be in a deluxe box, and it's going to be limited to 3,000 copies worldwide. So, if you're looking for something that you can grab, it might cost you a little bit more money, but it's going to be worth a lot more money afterwards because it's going to be hard to find, and not a lot of people are going to be able to get their hands on it. This one might be for you. Again, that's Devo. This is the Devo box. And if you haven't jumped into the Devo collection before, definitely do that. You know, go on iTunes, go on wherever you stream music, look up some of the Devo catalog because it definitely is a lot more than just Whip It, which became their, you know, famous MTV song or radio hit. Okay, now transitioning from Devo to Green Day. If there are any Green Day fans out there, you will want this one. It's not a box set. However, it is the Green Day live release of Woodstock 1994. Looks like there will be 6,800 copies of this, and I think it's just uh, pretty much the Dookie album. I mean, around 94, um, the cover looks like it's going to be similar to the Dookie cover, but it's going to have, you know, kind of a duct tape presentation over at Green Day Live, Woodstock 94. So it uh, should be a good one to check out. I remember that being a good show. Uh, I think the audio quality on those recordings, the soundboard recordings, were pretty good. Uh, I remember they released a Woodstock 94 album back then and a lot of good bands, but definitely the Green Day show was a good set to capture. And now for a much more recent release, 
uh, Greta Van Fleet is releasing their breakthrough album from the fires on vinyl for the first time. Previously, you've only been able to get their follow-up album and their original, um, I think four song, maybe is there four or six songs on there? I can't remember. Either way, their, their original EP that included a lot of these songs that showed up on From the Fires, but the first album from the fires has not been available on vinyl and it will be released uh, 7,000, it looks like. 7,000 of them will be released. And uh, Greta Van Fleet, you know, they're that band out there that's they're new on the scene. There's some young kids, but they sound a lot like Led Zeppelin. I've seen some articles recently where they were like, ah, oh, stop comparing us to Led Zeppelin. But the fact is, you sound like Led Zeppelin. So that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's a good formula to follow. Uh, a lot of classic rock sounds out there and not a lot of bands putting out that classic rock sound today. So, hey man, if you can ride that wave of Led Zeppelin fans, go for it. Speaking of classic rock, like I said, there were a lot of Woodstock releases. So this is a release, a 2LP release. Only 3,000 of these are going to be produced for Record Store Day. And this is Janis Joplin, Woodstock, Sunday, August 17th, 1969. You know, Janice was already a star at this point. This was a legendary performance from Woodstock, and it was just weeks before the release of her first solo album. Some pretty good songs on here. Try Just a Little Bit Harder's on here. Peace of My Heart, Ball and Chain. Good stuff. Pretty good release. All right, so if you haven't noticed, I've been going alphabetically by artist, and we're into the J's, so that's pretty good. We're moving pretty well through this list. Thank you for hanging in there with me. So here's another J one, and that is Jefferson Starship Gold. Now, this album is a compilation album that was released by Jefferson Starship in the 70s, at the end of the 70s, and it includes kind of just their hits throughout the 70s. So this is albums that were released from 74 through 78. The album itself, when originally released, reached number 20 on the Billboard 200. So definitely well-received compilation. And if you're into Jefferson Starship compilations, this one is for you. Okay, now we get into one of those releases that's not really just for the casual radio fan. This is for people who really want to hear some of the unique things that come out from recordings um, and that show up on Record Store Day. So this one is John Lennon. Uh, uh, the Imagine album, Raw Studio Mixes. So these mixes capture that exact moment when John and the Plastic Ono Band recorded each song raw and live at John and Yoko's home. So there's no special effects on these tracks. There's no reverb or tape delays. So it's just kind of the unique alternate take on that song as it was originally recorded and demoed. And now for something completely different. Monty Python. This is Monty Python's Life of Brian. It's a 2LP release limited to just 2,500 copies. And it will be a picture disc version of the release. It was mastered at Abbey Road Studios and is complete with new artwork. So if you want a good limited edition picture disc release of this soundtrack, here it is. This is your chance. 2,500 copies. Okay, so I've jumped forward quite a bit to the S's now. And for those of you who are digging these Woodstock 1969 releases, here is one by Sly and the Family Stone. This one is also titled Woodstock Sunday, August 17th, 1969. It is a 2LP release with 3,000 released, and it is a recording of their 3.30 in the morning performance from Woodstock. They still managed to get out an electrifying performance that included classics like Dance to the Music, Everyday People, I Want to Take You Higher. So I'm kind of looking forward to hearing what this one sounds like. Not sure if I want to purchase it myself, but I think it's a good collection of songs. I've always kind of liked what Sly and the Family Stone were doing. And you really can't go wrong with an energetic Woodstock performance. Okay, how about some synth pop for your collection? Would you like that? This next one is a band that my wife and I really love, and they are called The Bird and the Bee. Now, we first fell in love with The Bird and the Bee with their album Interpreting the Masters Volume 1, a tribute to Daryl Hall and John Oates. And it is pretty much a song-by-song -song cover album of Daryl Hall and John Oates' greatest hits. It's awesome. Uh, they have a female-led singer, kind of synth-poppy music for background. 
And that album was actually released last year, just after Record Store Day. I think they were pushing for a Record Store Day release. It's on kind of a pinkish purple vinyl, but they couldn't get it pressed in time. So it then just was released by the record label itself. So this year, I think they're trying again. They're going for two releases this year. Uh, The first is their debut album, which is just titled The Bird and the Bee. It will be released on green vinyl in a thousand copies. So a little bit limited release there. And then their other album, it's the 10th anniversary release of their album, Ray Guns Are Not Just the Future. This one will be a blue vinyl release. And if you've not checked out this album, you really should. There's a great song on there. Oh, by the way, this one's going to be a 2LP copy, 2000 quantity. But there's a great song on there called Diamond Dave. And the song itself is, it's, you know, it's all right. It's, um, but it's about, of course, Diamond Dave. It's about David Lee Roth. So the video, that's what you should check out. Look up the video for Diamond Dave by The Bird and the Bee, and it is pretty entertaining. All right, here we go. The home stretch. Just five more to tell you about. Again, I narrowed this down quite a bit. There's probably a ton of things I didn't hit, so I really recommend you go find the list yourself on recordstoreday.com. Towards the top of the screen, it'll just say the list. They have a website version and a PDF version. The PDF version is good for if you just want to print out a checklist for yourself, but the website version is better because you can click on each title and some of them have descriptions that you can read about that individual release to just get a little bit more of a feel for what it's going to include or maybe even see what the cover art will be like. So on this list, there were a ton of soundtracks. People always like to get movie soundtracks because they're a great collection of songs. And if you haven't checked out my short podcast I did a couple weeks back on movie soundtracks, definitely do that. Kind of did my personal top 10 of soundtracks. But for Record Store Day, it's a bunch of soundtracks being released. So I wanted to highlight one of them. And because I remember it being a big one when I was in high school around that time. And that is the soundtrack to The Crow. This had a lot of good songs on it. Uh, It's a 2LP release. It doesn't say how many copies for this one. But if you are a big fan of The Crow or that soundtrack definitely go pick it up because um, since it doesn't have a quantity listed here, I would think that this is going to be one that you can find at almost every record store. I think this could be pretty high volume release. Moving on from that, this one, another another favorite of both my wife and myself. Um, and I've mentioned him on the podcast before, and that is Mark Marin. So Mark Marin, a great stand-up comedian. He had a TV show of his own. He's on the TV show Glow, and also kind of the, uh, you know, the master at podcasts with his WTF podcast. He's releasing, uh, well, he has a release, uh, 2000 quantity on this one, and it's called In the Garage, live music from WTF with Mark Marin. So this is a first vinyl release of material from his successful podcast. And this will have 10 acoustic performances from artists like Jay Macias, Melissa Etheridge, The Eels, Margot Price, Jason Isbell, and a performance with Dave Alvin and Mark Maron himself. Now, the cool thing about this album is that a portion of the proceeds from this record will benefit musicians on call, which brings music to the patients of healthcare facilities to add some joy to their day. So this fundraiser album uh, says it's in partnership with Newberry Comics and Tito's Vodka with the express goal of raising $5,000 for musicians on call. So bonus there, you can get a cool album and it can contribute to something good. Now, Let's talk Woodstock. Of course, there's been all these Woodstock releases. That is because Woodstock is celebrating its 50th anniversary. That's right, 50 years since Woodstock. As part of that, there is, of course, the various artists' release of the Woodstock soundtrack from the movie. This is the three record set. This is the mono PA version, so an exclusive release in mono from the PA system. All the same tracks you're used to hearing on the as part of the Woodstock soundtrack. So there's The Who, Sha Na Na, Canned Heat, Joe Cocker, Richie Havens, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. The list goes on. It's a huge, huge list of performers. You know, three records of material. 
So that could be a good one. I've always been a fan of that Woodstock soundtrack. And this might be a good one to have. Rounding out our list is Weezer. There's actually two things here from Weezer. The first one that was rumored for quite a while. Well, I don't know, a month or two. <laughs> so the first one is the Teal album from Weezer. This is, of course, the one we spoke about about a month or two ago um, that is their cover song album. It's got them in 80s gear, the Teal background. And it will finally be put on vinyl. I think it's coming out on CD maybe in the next couple of weeks, but making a big appearance on vinyl for Record Store Day. The second one from Weezer will be the first time it's on vinyl. Uh, I think they're going to have 4,000 copies of this one, and it is called Dusty Gems and Raw Nuggets. Now, this was a CD compilation originally. Uh, just a selection of rarities and stuff. I believe most of these are from the Blue Album period. And they're songs that I've grown to love over time, as I've heard them either in digital format or whatever. Uh, there's Michael and Carly, Suzanne, Jamie. Then there's some live performances of My Name is Jonas, Surf Wax America, live acoustic of Jamie. Um, some previously unreleased kind of demo versions of songs, pre-production recordings. So... Uh, I think there's 14 tracks on this. I, I hope all of those are going to be on the vinyl. There's not a whole lot of information, but there were 14 tracks on the original CD compilation. So hopefully all of those will make it to this vinyl version. I don't know what the cover will look like yet. I don't know if it'll just be the blue album with uh, Rarities Edition written on there or something, but something to look for. Uh, there's 4,000 of them. I don't know how many that translates to across record stores in the U.S., um, but hopefully you can find this one and add it to your collection. All right, so that is it for me. That's the uh, the rundown that I've got. Like I said, there's a lot more to this list. There's 402 items, so there's a lot to dig through. There may be some things that you like that I didn't think of. Um, so definitely go look, go take a look for yourself. And if you haven't already, track down what record store is near you that you can go hang out at. Um, you know, like I said, you're going to have to get there early in the morning, wait before they open, wait in line. But there's that social aspect, right? You get to talk to other collectors, find out what they collect, what they like. Um, maybe, you know, what equipment they use. Maybe you're wanting to upgrade your turntable, your speakers, whatever it is. Maybe you want to know what cartridge is best. So that's a good way to get out there. Talk to other people who are in the vinyl world, other enthusiasts like yourself, if you're listening to this and find out, uh, maybe you can find out about other music that they listen to. You know, last time I was in line for black Friday record store day, there were people talking about all kinds of older blues and jazz stuff that I'm not normally listening to, but, uh, it did make me want to take a listen to a couple of things. I didn't end up buying any of it, of course, but it does, uh, does give you some other things to listen to when you're just wanting to play some different things and kind of reach outside of your normal comfort zone. So I hope you enjoyed that rundown of the record store day list. Uh, you know, let me know, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you like what we're doing with the podcast. Let me know some records that you want to hear more about, and we can look into doing uh, some discussions on those. Uh, I've got a few things that I'm planning coming up. I'm um, going to talk to a friend of mine. Uh, he is a musician as well, and he is an expert, I would say, on Jimi Hendrix. And so I'm going to talk to him about a couple of Jimi Hendrix albums that are on our top 500 list and probably space those out over a couple of episodes. But uh, look forward to having that discussion with someone else and adding that to the podcast. So Hope you guys are doing well. Again, interact with us via email, podcast at wildhogrecords.com, or on social media. It is at Spinning Records across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hope you guys have a good week. Hope everything is working out for you. Let me know what you're spinning. Let me know some things you're looking for, like things that are prized treasures in your collection or those, uh, those holy grails out there for you. All right. That's it for this week. I will talk to you guys later. 